you guys saw the Walker mower was right after I purchased it and started to redo the deck. When I got this Walker, it was kind of beat up and rusted and I actually took the deck down. Uh, stripped it apart and redid it. So if you haven't checked out that video, make sure you check that one out along with this one. In that video, I did talk about the fact that this season I would be building uh, kind of a leaf setup. Uh, I had some plans for it to go a little bigger than what it has. Unfortunately, uh, some of those plans have not worked out. So all I've had is the walker mower along with the box truck and I've just been dumping in the box truck on a tarp and then dragging that tarp out at the end of the day and putting it into my burn pile. Overall, I've really liked the walker. Uh, it's actually one of the mowers that I've found that I go to more often than uh, even my Skags. Uh, I never really thought I would use it as much as I have been. It's actually just an enjoyable mower to get to use. Now I have had some problems with it clogging with leaves. Uh, so I am interested from you guys to check out this footage and see if you can uh, give me some tips and tricks that I might be able to use to better utilize the walker and maybe be a little more efficient with it. But uh, on this day, this was like the heaviest uh, leaf job I've done with the walker uh, so far. It, uh, it did impress me. I mean, whenever I got away from the leaves that were really compacted and right there around the trees, the ones that were kind of spread out a little more, once I got over to those, it was great. One, maybe two passes, and it would suck up all of those leaves. But anytime I would get up like right underneath the tree where a whole bunch of leaves had fallen, uh, the walker would just clog up pretty quickly. Uh, the other issue that I had was that uh, the alarm system on my bagger doesn't work, so it doesn't tell me when that bag is full. Due to that, sometimes I'll go a little too long before I actually dump it, uh, and you know how that is. It ends up clogging that chute that is in the box. It clogs the uh, blower motor up, and then it clogs the chute underneath that uh, comes from the deck. So I ended up having to clean out that chute underneath the deck several times. I also had to clean out the uh, blower motor quite a bit and then I would also have to clean out that chute going through the box. Uh, I think on this day this happened maybe five to seven times somewhere around there. Finally I kind of got the clue to stay away from those thicker leaves. Uh, what I have started to do whenever I'm dealing with those thicker leaves like that is I will actually blow them to the driveway. I'll mulch them up with the uh, skag and then I utilize the walker to suck all those up and uh, put them in the box at that point. Uh, that's turned into like the most efficient way so far that I have found to utilize the walker while having the box truck. Because the skag will actually uh, shred the leaves up quite a bit more than the walker does, I'll go ahead and shred those up with the skag and then I'll suck those up into the walker. Another issue that I've had with the walker is kind of one of those known issues. Uh, the guy that I bought it from actually warned me of this. Uh, the day that I picked it up, and that is where the muffler is and having those leaves fall onto the muffler. Uh, the day we were here, uh, we had just a little bit of a fire kind of came up. Uh, it was burning some of the leaves that got on the muffler. It was smoking more than anything, but I've had full on like flames coming out. I actually started carrying a bottle next to the seat, and this was by recommendation of the guy that I bought it from. Uh, and it's just a bottle of water. I call it my fire suppression system, but uh, anytime that comes up and I do have flames like that, I'll grab that bottle, throw a little bit of that water on there, knocks it right down. Uh, it's just, to me, that's kind of a safety hazard, but uh, knowing that it happens, you know, you can be there, you can have the water, and you can be prepared for it. I absolutely love the power dump that is on this mower. Uh, that has been so convenient to just be able to back into the truck or back up to the burn pile, wherever I'm going to leave those leaves, and just be able to flip that little switch and the box raises up, dumps the leaves out for me, and hit that switch the other way and actually bring that box back down and never have to get off the mower. Now, I have had to get off the mower quite a bit with dealing with the clogs, but uh, on a standard dump, whenever I don't get the box too full, 
it is nice to have that switch right there and just be able to power that dump and uh, not have to get off that mower. Another question a lot of guys have been asking me about is the uh, quick adjust deck that is on there. Uh, personally, I have not liked it because for some reason the handle that you adjust where your height is, uh, it doesn't want to stay in its spot. So it will pop out and it will put the deck all the way to the ground and you end up scalping the yard because of that. So I have just been using the pins just like you would on a standard deck for uh, walker mowers and not really utilizing that uh, quick adjust system. And like I said guys, I have absolutely enjoyed this walker mower. I'm utilizing it way more than I actually thought I would. Uh, I've used it on several of my like nice manicured lawns and I love using it on those yards. Uh, I think it makes them look so much nicer. So I am definitely pleased with the walker. Uh, it's just these little few uh, nitpicky things and some of that may actually be me still learning how to use the mower. So again, if you guys have any tips or tricks for me, make sure you put those in the comments below. Let me know, help me out with that. Uh, I would much appreciate it. Along with that guys, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the next one.